Okay, now no, get into the problem. Uh, the, and, and this is smooth. So you, you do one thing, we'll give P1, P2, P3. So what is P1, P2? Smooth. P2, P3 are rough. So first it will descend i h no. So immediately as it descends, what is the state of the wedge? The the wedge will be shifting towards left. Oh, diagram needed. I'll, I'll show it here. So it will be. So the block will land now. It will have velocity v1. This will have velocity v2. So tell me very next moment what will happen. There will be friction acting. And how the, how the friction will be acting? The friction will start acting towards left on the block. And on the wedge, it should be in this direction. In the diagram, I can't show that one. So I'm, in fact, it should be here. The friction on the wedge, I'm just showing it here. So it'll be easy for us. The moment it landed at the point P2, the friction starts acting on it. And tell me now again, finally, uh, it slides on the slope and then stops after sliding a distance one meter on the horizontal portion of the top of the block. Next part is the very important. Okay, get the diagram now. You have to really fight with the diagram. Nothing is there in the problem. Let's, I'll, I'll go for this. Sir? sir. Wait, wait let, let me finish our problem. Let me finish our problem. Okay, sir. So it will be finally, uh, what will happen to the... It will slide some distance, then it will come here. The block will happen, let it be here. And it has come to rest. And I'll say this will be at rest, and this will be at rest. Look at now. Can we calculate that V1, V2 first? Anybody? First V1, V2. Let's come to the problem in order. I'm showing all the three, three situations. That release it from rest, no? This was initially at rest. This was at rest. So what is the decrease in potential G? M1 GH. M1 V2 square, M2 V2 square. This is M2, this is M1. Okay, this till, till when it moves from P1 to P2. After, after this, what will happen? What actually happened here? So what is the displacement of which? So let me take that as X2. Displacement of wedge, let it be x2. So what is the displacement of block? How to bring that one? So with respect to ground in the in the ground frame, if you see this everything in the ground frame only. With respect to ground frame, it has undergone displacement. No, call this is x1.
I, I am having this much of information. Okay, let's come for this. <coughs> uh, what is the some distance it will slide on the on the wedge? No. So what is the distance? So P two. So this we have P three. I will call this as P four. And finally, it has come to rest at P four. And and this is what P two. So how much of distance it will slide on the wedge? If telling equal to how much? Equal to some distance, no d. So can we determine that? Can you hear me, all of you? Yes, sir. Let's have a question in hand. This will be. So he's asking now. The friction coefficient of friction between block B and horizontal portion of the top between the top of the block A. We have this much of the thing is what happened. Finally, why it should come to rest? Because the friction does. Friction does negative work on the wedge, so it will retard. Friction does positive work on the negative work on the block, so finally both will come to rest here. So now look at this one. When a small block, it slides down the slope and then stops after sliding a distance one meter on the horizontal portion of the top of the block. How to interpret this particular thing? So what to take that uh, one meter here? At least I think uh, no, no, now you can. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, then. Yes, sir. What to take that one meter? From where that one meter is? I'll I'll measure from the P P four. You see P four and this P two. No, so here will indicate all the things. Just look at the diagram. This is X one. And this is x two. This what the block has slided, no total. <coughs> that x one plus x two is what p four is here, no. You see that one p four it has come, and the block was at p two. So p two p four is what. It has finally moved, no, and that is what I'll write x one plus x two here. So that x one plus x two is what equal to d. Okay, now write uh, what about the work done by the friction? So here initial kinetic energy m one v two square plus m two v two square. Work done by the friction. Friction does negative work. So what about the work done by friction? Friction does work on both, no. How much actually the wedge got displaced here by x two? 
that's all no the displacement of p4 is what i'm showing for your convenient and how much the block has got <coughs> displaced with respect to ground x1 equal to 0 so we know x1 plus x2 we know friction f equal to how much mu m1 g so all this 